Yes, we are working still on the thing that we were working on last week. Um, I want to give you some time to work on it today during lecture time, but I do want to talk about it a bit first. I also want to talk about the midterm. The midterm was made available yesterday. Did anyone start it? No. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it was an accident or like if something happened, you know, I mean, like, you know, you're, you're, you know, you, you, I mean, I've had students say that they've clicked on it and didn't realize that they had to take it right then and there and then close out of it right away. Or like if, you know, you get an emergency phone call or something and you, you have to take that or something, just let me know and then we'll figure something out. Um, I, I, my intent was to make it easier than I have in past semesters because I think, I think it was a little rough in past semesters. I don't know. Uh, so I, I honed it a little bit and I think I simplified it because again, you know, um, the idea of a test like that is to test for, to look for certain things. I, I want to see if you can do certain things. And some things I can tell from your programs and some things um, you can't necessarily tell from your programs, but you can tell from, from the test. Um, so at any rate, um, there's three sections. They're all more or less short answers. Um, one section is um, about concepts where you're asked a question. The other is a design where I describe a scenario and you have to tell me what object, what classes you'd create, methods, and so on. And then the last part is, uh, is a simple programming um, exercise. Not, not writing a full program. So I shuffle the points from previous semesters. I think this will be a better, a better test than the last. Uh, semesters were. So I think you have until Sunday to get it done. Um, and you're given like a couple hours. So, um, you know. What we were working on in class is sort of a good review, I think, because it covers a lot of the concepts. And that was we were writing a um, little application for um, drivers. And I don't think I wrote this down, but uh, we'll try to remember what the rules were. And then I want to spend a few minutes talking about the design and a few issues, a few w whatever you said, you know, whatever you want to call them. All right, if I remember right, there are. And there are commercial drivers. Is that correct? All right. Now, one team had a good point. And that point was asking me if there was a difference between a driver and a driver's license. Was there a need to have a separate class for that? And, and my intent was no, that you really didn't. Uh, by a driver, I mean a, a, a person that has a license, so you could consider the license as simply an attribute of the driver. But that's a good point. And, and one thing, um, one thing that's, that's important to do is, um, is, to spl is, is, you know, sometimes you say, I don't want to split hairs, but, well, in programming, you kind of have to split hairs, right? That's the whole thing of programming, is to be very precise about something. So, um, therefore, when in doubt, ask. Um, the one classic example I gave, uh, I give all the time, uh, forgive me if I've done it in this class already, but talking uh, in, on a previous job that I had in the food business where uh, we, re we wrote software for food brokers, and food brokers are people that represent food manufacturers. Well, depending on the perspective, a, a manufacturer was sometimes called a manufacturer and sometimes was called a principal. That means the same thing. All right? Manufacturer and principal is the same thing. It's just sort of a different, like, depending on your position in the company, you'd call them one thing versus the other. Likewise, customers. We had customers, all right, and some of our customers were distributors, some of them weren't. And then our customers' customers we didn't call customers. We called something else. <laughs> and, 
And it gets to be a, a, a terminology thing. And, you know, if you were to do this in everyday conversation, it probably would be a pain. But when writing a program, you need to understand it on a very precise level. So please, if there's something at all that isn't clear, please ask for clarification like that. That was, that was good on the part of the team um, that asked, uh, asked it. Now, what I want to do is I want to review the design because uh, I think maybe there's some teams that have issues with it and some teams have made progress on it and so on and so forth. But I want to spend a few minutes talking about the design. I did decide, I decided this was a good compromise. Since I said there was no lab last week, your lab assignment for this coming week is to, which is not due until next week, but is to do this. So if you do this, you're not doing it for naught. You'll get credit for it. All right. Uh, I said we needed a couple things. Uh, there, there were fees, right? Uh, can someone remind me of what were here? Yeah. This is interesting too. I uh, I was using the phrase the, the date renewed, uh, but that's different than the renewal date, right? The date that it was last renewed, the date that the license was issued. So it probably would be better and, and less confusing to call this the date issued. All right. And we said to what and on what date did it expire? All right. Expired. When expired and amount of renewal. Okay, so what class did we end up with? A driver and a commercial. And but um, in object-oriented terms on an object diagram, that usually means that this is a subclass of that. So this would be driver, and this would be commercial driver. Now, does this pass the inheritance test? Is a commercial driver a kind of driver? Yes. All right. So a commercial driver is a kind of driver, so it passes that test. What attributes would we have and where would they live? Okay, we'd have the name, license number, and what else? Yeah, date issued. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, well, let's talk about that. That's, that's a good question. Um, and there would be the corresponding get and sets for this. The question was, would you have an attribute of um, the type of driver they were? All right. And the answer, the answer, of course, is yeah, you absolutely could. All right. You actually could probably get away with just one class then. 
right? Because you could have all your methods look to that in de in, de in defining um, whether um, you know what the renewal was, what, when it was um, had it expired, what was the renewal amount, and all that. So you could. I'm separating into subclass for a couple of things. First of all. One of, the, one of the trickiest things in programming is deciding where you're going to leave room to grow. All right? Because you can't predict the future. All right? You can, if you take it to the extreme, you can plan for all sorts of contingencies which are never going to happen. And you have sort of a bloated system. You can expand it in a bunch of different ways. Well, yeah, but none of those ways ever actually really are going to happen. The other you can make is not allow any expansion at all. Now, the reason that I'm using subclasses here are a couple reasons. First of all, that you know that's what we're studying, all right. So it makes it, it makes sense. It's, it's, I always used to love in math uh, class, you know, uh, like if you had no idea, do you look like what section the problem was in? Hey, this is in multiplication, so I learn this problem. They could probably Writers of math textbooks could probably fail every single student if they just slipped a subtraction program in the multiplication story problems or something like that. At any rate, the other reason is that let's imagine, and it's not too hard to imagine this, so I, this is not a crazy sort of contingency, but let's imagine there are some things that are distinct to commercial drivers. Maybe they have to pass a, a physical, for example, whereas a commercial or a regular driver doesn't. Maybe they have different tests that they have to take. Maybe there's a different sort of kind of commercial driver, like can you be a taxi driver or can you be a bus driver or can, whatever. There could be some additional attributes associated with commercial drivers, in which case it would be good to put that there. Now, to your question, of any sort of like lookup or whatever in a driver's level. And it's going to go and it's going to create and it's going to find the driver that way. In the database, there could be some indication that says this is a commercial driver, this isn't. Because one of the things that you have to do is you have to sort of translate this object structure into a relational database. And there are is object-oriented databases where you save objects, but when you translate this into relational databases, then you might do something like that. All right, but from a programming perspective, it's probably better to do that, and you really don't need it. If your program needs to know what drivers are, they you can look at the kind of object that was created. And you can say, I, I forget the exact statement, but there's a type of where you can look at and see, is this a driver or a commercial driver uh, object? So that's, I mean, that's an excellent point. Uh, for a combination of all those reasons is why I would do it this way and not have a flag. You don't need one. All right, is sort of the bottom line. Okay. So, and we have the get sets. Now, what this time? Well, there's going to be get renewal cost. Get date. Well, that's part of this, the get and set. Get renewal date when it needs to be renewed by is expired. Get penalty. What is going to be in the commercial driver? Oh, yes. Is expired will be overridden. What else? Yeah, get get renewal cost. Um, get renewal date.
and so on. Get penalty won't have to because we said that's the same for both. Now, get renewal cost. We'll have to call superclasses method and then add 15. So this is going to involve calling the superclass. That's sort of the design I expected you to come up with. All right. What if I tell you, all right, I, I, infomercial. What if, what if I were to tell you that I could do all this for $9.95 and what if I not have any overridden methods in the subclass. What would you think? That's, that's my challenge question, and I'm debating whether I want to answer it or not. But remember, we haven't talked going to need constructors. I, we're doing two constructors, one with the name only that would default to the issued of today, and one with uh, a name and a date where you would put in the date issued as whatever the date was. Tell you what, we'll, we'll, this is your challenge between now and Thursday, no, not Thursday. Well, yeah, I mean, you can, you can think about it as long as you want, but Wednesday we'll talk about it. All right? That's the challenge for what? How? Get it working the way you plan, but think of how to get it working without having any methods in the subclass. Remembering, of course, structures are not really methods. Yes? A? I didn't. Uh, not sure what that would do. Again, when, when I say think, it means I don't expect to have an answer within a minute. All right? Spend some time thinking about it. All right? And spend some time thinking about, thinking about what or would not be a good thing. All right? So let's discuss on Wednesday. So that will be our discussion question on Wednesday. All right? Any comments about this? Uh, it was do this week. This week is devoted towards the midterm. We have time to work on and class to do next week. Okay? Remainder of time today, I'd like to let you work on your uh, stuff. Uh, those of you who are having trouble design, take a good look at that, and hopefully that makes sense. If not, the other teams, uh, if you're having trouble with it, you know, brainstorm with them to see if they can uh, help you out. there.